Do you find that your images sometimes look flat and lack depth? Would you like to create more professional, cinematic and eye-catching images that pop and look more 3D? Typically, this kind of 3D effect is created using a three-point lighting setup in a studio to create separation between your subject and the background, as well as depth by introducing shadows on your model's face to create contrast, shape and dimension. The problem with these setups is that they're usually expensive, cumbersome to use, annoying to carry around, and limit your freedom to shoot wherever and whenever you'd like. For example, in a beautiful, natural, outdoor setting. The good news, which I discovered way too late in the game, is that there is in fact a much simpler and virtually cost-free alternative way of creating more cinematic images with tons of depth and three dimension. An alternative method that I like to call the BWN method. The BWN method recreates the same results that you can expect from a traditional three-point lighting system, except instead of using heavy, complicated lighting gear and expensive studio rentals, this method uses simple, cost-free natural lighting setups which are available to you anywhere and anytime. Okay, so let me explain how the BWN method works. But first, a word from our sponsor, Wirestock, literally the best way to make money from your content online. Many photographers don't know this, but you can actually make a decent amount of money by selling your photos and videos online. The problem is that typically this process requires a lot of hard work in terms of handling multiple accounts on a number of stock websites, uploading your photos and videos to all the different stock platforms, and then beginning the painful keyword and metadata management for each piece of content uploaded. But that's where Wirestock comes in. With Wirestock, the old, painful, and time-consuming process of selling your vectors, photos, and videos online has now become a thing of the past. How it works is that Wirestock takes care of all the hard work of keywording and distributing all the content you upload onto their website to eight major stock marketplaces, including Shutterstock, Adobe Stock, and 123. RF and many more at no cost to you. Wirestock just simply earns a small percentage commission on every sale you make. So all you have to do is create a single free account on the Wirestock website, upload all your content to your free Wirestock portfolio, and then just sit back, relax, and watch as money flows into your personal earnings tracking dashboard. So what are you waiting for? Go out there and shoot some authentic content and then let Wirestock take care of the rest. Okay, now back to the three natural lighting setups which you can use to make your photos look much more 3D and cinematic without requiring any expensive lighting gear whatsoever. First of all, backlighting. The natural backlighting setup is one of the most wonderful tools that you can use as a photographer to create magazine quality, cinematic, and 3D images that pop because of the separation generated between the model and the background. Subject separation achieves this by making the model stand out or seemingly pop from the background, which creates the illusion of a more 3D appearance. All backlighting requires is a sunny or partly cloudy day and for you to position your subject with their back to the sun and ideally in front of a darker background to emphasize the glowing halo of light. Next up, we have window lighting, which when used correctly can be one of the most powerful portrait lighting devices that one can use. Window lighting has been used for centuries by old master painters such as Vermeer and Rembrandt to create stunning dramatic portraits filled with tons of depth. Now the reason why window lighting is so effective at creating a 3D look is because of the way that light wraps around your subject's face, creating resultant shadows on the opposing side of your model's face. All you need to do to achieve this effect is to place your model at an angle or to the side of a window in a preferably darker room so as to emphasize the shadows cast on the opposing side of your model's face. Now speaking of shadows cast, it's time to move on to N for negative fill. And this might be my favorite of the BWN method because of its versatility and accessibility, especially considering how effective it is at instantly creating more depth and dimension in your photography. You see, where backlighting and window lighting provide a source of light for your portrait, Negative fill does the opposite. It removes or blocks surrounding light from reflecting onto one side of your subject so as to increase the shadows on your model, which in turn boosts the contrast and depth. 
Typically and especially in outdoor settings, surrounding ambient light shines and reflects off every surface and onto your model, creating a very soft, low contrast and flat look. By introducing a negative fill of some kind, you're essentially increasing the contrast and roll off from light to shadow, helping to create a more three-dimensional, dramatic look that pops. The beauty of negative fill is that it can be found almost anywhere, from trees in a park, to furniture, flower bushes, alleyways, to fences, and even something as simple as darker clothing or your model's own hair can serve as an effective negative fill. This simple yet elegant hack is a total game changer when it comes to creating more professional, cinematic, yet natural looking portraits that pop and is definitely at the top of my list of things that I wish I knew when starting portrait photography. 